Hey guys, welcome to our shop tour. Sorry, we thought we could go live at 9.30, then we thought we could go live at 10.30, and now it's 11.05, we are finally <laughs> live, super excited. I'm gonna go ahead and- Well, we got a huge pallet this morning that we were expecting, but didn't realize what time it was gonna get here today, because they're like, you know, we'll be there between nine and four, and well, it got here at like 8.50. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hoping we would get here, but then I was also kind of not hoping. But the good thing is we have lots of fun new inventory. I am going to drop the home decor link because most of it is in there. Um, some of it, we do have some sale items sprinkled in here. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. If there's anything we show you can't find on JanuaryVintage.com, just comment and we will drop that link for you either now or after the live video. Caitlin is sick. She's not on here. And so it's just me dropping links. So I'm going to do my very bestest. Yeah, right. you should be fine. So You're we have pretty quick. some, and so I have a the palette that came today is not just home decor. Yeah, um, some my of friend antiques. also junks for me and sends me stuff. So I'm going to show you the antiques first because they're cool. Um, she sent me canning jars, and this one I wasn't expecting. I ordered these, and she threw me in this, and I was like, Sarah, I love you so much right now because half gallon number seven, lucky number seven, with a zinc lid. We only have one. Yeah, only one of them, um, and then it does, it's the uh, the Ball Perfect Mason, and it's got the nice, thick, uneven bottom on there like we love, but just, just a great jar. Jamie has a few of these hanging around the house that I don't know that she'll part with. I'm ever. actually shocked that I'm selling it, but anyways, $28.95 for this jar, and it does have, because I know people are going to ask, it does have the original little um, milk glass the ceramic ceramic whatever. whatever that is my mom used to pull those out and use them as plates for her dolls oh really when she was a little girl yeah so that's what I always think of every time I see them well they have when your mom was little they were coming in every jar yeah and they were just like it would be like playing with junk that you have left over from your your grocery it's like Jack store. with the cardboard boxes now yeah I mean to her <laughs> them it was nothing special I'm like I hope you didn't lose those um, so also we have these pints. These are the hermetic pints. They're all a little bit different. Some say ball, some say atlas. One of them is plain, um, but they're all $8.95 for these hermetic pints and they have the wire enclosures. Super cute. At $8.95, I feel like it's a really great deal for these antique canning jars. So got that out of the way. We also have two antique column bases. So let's show those off. Here, I can hold them up close oh, for them. Yeah. They're heavy. This one has the little beads around the edge. And then this one is just bigger. <laughs> so these are hand carved from India and they're column bases. And then they paint them. I didn't paint them white. They get painted like a chippy white. Um, they are $79.95. Let's see, are they in the home decor collection? Let me just double so check. So there's that one. This, uh, where's the tag on this one? It's $79.95. Okay, we have others though. So is this one specific? Yeah, so that is number one. Number one. Number one. I'll drop the link for these specifically. They are in the home decor And then this one is but... huge. It's super thick. I think we have two more listed elsewhere, but these ones are the new ones. So this yeah, is we have two. one over there on the Valentine's display. Look how pretty those are. But yeah, they're, they're huge. They're awesome for displaying things on. Yeah, I know a lot of times people try to find like cloches that match and they'll put like a big cloche on it they're or whatever. They're a great riser. They're one of a kind because they're antique. And I think that's all the antique stuff. The rest, um, there's a lot of handmade. We restocked our artichokes. These are in the home decor collection. They look like you could literally dip them in butter. They're $9.95. These are really popular in the spring. We were down to two, so I restocked those. And then I'll, I'll hold off. I think people are gonna be really excited about these, but I'll hold off for a minute. Um, okay. Let's show them the pairs. Okay, so these are cement pairs and they have a little metal stem in them. They're, they're just, they're really sturdy. I love them. They, they come loose like this in the, in the box, like all just running around and no damage on them. So they're super tough. Well, they're cement. Um, they're 695. We have a bunch. How many did you get? Like 12? I got a dozen pairs. And they have the stems are metal, which I like. I don't know, can you guys even see those? Yeah, I carried them before, but I haven't been able to find them. And maybe it's a cement shortage, but I haven't been able to find them for a decent price. And I feel like $6.95 is a really good price for a cement pair. We have 12 of these available. 
I just dropped the link for that one. Um, you can show them the greenery. Maria is so excited. Maria, if you've not been to the shop, she works here and she loves greenery. And so I bought tons of greenery for spring. Here's the thing. The greenery has been selling as fast as we can get it in here. Yeah, I know. So I tried to stock up a little bit. Um, this is are the, these eucalyptus? What are these? I would say lamb's, lamb's ear. ear. Little, little lamb's ear. Little lamb. They're like a recycled cardboard base, almost like a, like a planting pot. And then you just have the lamb's ear bunch on the top. They are $6.95. We got a bunch of these in too. Yeah, $6.95 and they come in that cute pot. Like how cute would those be to put an IOD transfer on or a little stencil? I mean, they're cute I think the a stencil are, would but... be perfect because they're pretty porous. You might have a difficult time getting a transfer to stick to that. It's like a little peak pot. Yeah. You don't think I could get a transfer stick to that? I'm not going to challenge you because I know you can do lots of things. You could stamp things. them or stencil them for sure. That? For sure. Stamp. For perfect sure. for stamping and stenciling. It would just go right on there. All right. This is, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm excited about this. Is going to be on, our, are we going to have one of these yes. on the table with a bunch of greenery yes. in it? Because spring is coming and when I, so the gal that I buy all this from, she doesn't have a good website. Um, she's only wholesale, but she does uh, FaceTime and literally she walks through and she FaceTimes and I'm like, stop! And this was definitely one of those stop items. We ordered half a dozen of them um, and they are crates. So they look kind of like the sugar molds, only they're empty in the bottom. Yeah, they use like a drill press to cut out the perfect size holes and then they come with the perfect size bottles. These are like small inkwells or medicine bottles is what they remind me of. She had them um, made after like apothecary bottles, like little like medicine type bottles. Oh, she had these made for her? Yeah, so she, these are new, but she custom like had the where like manufacturing Manufacture. facility. Or maybe she found these and had these made. I don't know. Either way, you get five of these. And these are really good. Let me pull the price. And they're, they, they're made to look like old beadboard. They've got a seam running down through here too. So, and she gave me a good price on these. They were supposed to be retail $46.95 and they're actually $34.95. So I think that's really, yeah, I love the little like fey faux beadboard. If you painted this a chippy white, you'd really see that beadboard on the side. Yep. So these are in the home decor and the sale collection. Let me drop the link to the sale collection so you guys can see that in there. And then you'll get a little preemptive if you look in there, you'll see something else that we have in the sale collection. I think people are going to be excited so about So these are fun and new. These are little risers. You could probably use them for a cutting board too. That's what they remind me of. But they're just heart shaped. They've got these great little legs on them. And then there's three different sizes so you can kind of tear them up. You can buy all three or you can just buy one. So the small one is $12.95. The medium size is $14.95, and the big one is quite a bit bigger, and it's $19.95. And they're all handmade, so they're slightly different, and I just think they're really cute. I bought them because Valentine's Day is coming, but honestly, we, I don't know about you guys, but we sell hearts year-round. We never have a problem selling anything heart-shaped, and I think these would be so cute in a vignette with, like, a candle and a little pot and... So I think Maybe we only bird. have six of each. So if you're wanting one, I wouldn't wait on them because they're probably going to go. And if you want to tier them, because they're sold individually, so we might not be able to make the tier for very long, depending on what sells. The small ones will probably go fastest. But yes, if you want all three, definitely order them now. So that way you can make sure you get one of each size. Because I decided to sell them individually just because I realized, like, obviously the economy is not perfect for everybody and so I wanted somebody if they just wanted one to be able to just buy one at twelve ninety five. Do you know what I mean? Well, look, Otherwise, at how, look at how great that would be with like a couple of these pairs up here. You can like totally stage it with yeah. little pairs. Do like a little pair and greenery or situation. You could, you could just big. do like one. Look at that. Boom. We're this, making. This big one could probably even handle this. We haven't showed this yet. I think that's a little large size wise but I would do. I don't know. Maybe I the would jar. do a canning jar. All right, it does look better lower. Yeah, there you go. And you could even maybe fit this on there if you wanted to. I think that would be, so I'm always, our salt always seems to be roaming around. Wouldn't I think, that be so cute? I think it would be cool to put, um, so A in yesterday's cake. video on the, the Jamie and Zed channel, I put our baking powder and baking soda in some old jars because they're just in huge containers. We buy in bulk. We buy at Costco and I think it would be cool to like have these somewhere in the pantry with just like those on there with like salt and baking powder, baking soda. 
That would be oh, that's me. For the next cooking episode, we'll, we'll stay. I thought you were so cute. <laughs> Zeb was like decanting She's... all the products. And then he had, he's like, where's your cute I think what you thought... jadeite tray so I can stage these up. And then he had. I did not call it the cute You tray. had Cooper and Odelia come to the shop to get a cow creamer so you could put your caramel sauce in it. Well, we have a cow creamer. I'm like, why don't we... I was looking around. I'm like, why do we only have like large pint mason jars? Because we usually <laughs> use lots of sauce. We usually don't use cute little creamers. But if you haven't seen the video, we've got a cooking video. We're going to do a bunch of them with some of our favorite recipes. And that is up on the Jamie and Zeb channel. I'm going to. And the to... recipe is um, in the blog on the website if you need a written recipe. But Yeah, on jamierayventures.com, we put our recipes up there. I will drop the we link We did to sticky that toffee pudding with kamut flour and natural sugars. We're still going to do the Jamie Ray Vintage. Ain't never going to give that up. But we decided to start a separate channel for homesteading and cooking. All right, let's talk about so what you've got. So these sprigs are sold separately. They're five ninety-five each. A eucalyptus. It's a eucalypt. Well, it's actually a eucalyptus bunch because it's not just one oh, little yeah, spring. You, you can. fluff it out. Oh, it gets much bigger. Yeah. So there's your little bunch. They just. Were and then this is things. sold separately. It's not part of it. We just have it in there because they look good. This is a hand-turned wood base, and they are twenty-four ninety-five. I'm gonna drop that base right here. Base. If I were, I don't know that I would actually put live plants in here without putting something in. Like, like I would probably drop a smaller jar or something down in there to put the water in, to be honest. Because they don't, they look like they might hold water, but water sitting in wood is, no. it'll usually end up like cracking the wood at some point. Yeah, they're definitely, or what you could do is just get like one of those cups from the gas station. The plastic ones. Oh yeah. I actually use those a lot because I will get like old oil cans and they have holes in the bottom and I, I want to do fresh flour. So then I just use a plastic gas station soda cup or like a hot cocoa cup from the stadium. That would fit in there perfectly. You put that in there, you put the water in that and then it protects your vessel. I'm going to drop a link to the eucalyptus. Um, everything that you're seeing is pretty much in the home decor or the sale collection. And if you sort, if you sort it newest to oldest, all this stuff will be brand new this morning and should pop up. And if you guys want to share out this video, that's a super big help to us so that way people, other people can watch it and do some fun shopping. I can't wait to get all this stuff like officially staged. We did like a hard and fast stage. I but threw some stuff on some shelves. You're the best shelf thrower stuff ever. But I'm I sure did organize the Le Parfait jars. We'll show you. They're all together and they actually look pretty good. I right think there. that Maria will probably come in and... She'll zhuzh it. Zhuzh it. Little zhuzh Yeah. She's good at that. Okay, let's show all the wall pockets. Okay, you talk about them. I'll show them. Okay, cool. you guys know that I am obsessed with wall pockets. And so... Everybody uh, is. We usually thrift them, but these were all really great prices. And so I couldn't pass them up. All right, so these are just woven baskets. Those we are got willow. They're willow. Are they a pair or two different no, sizes? They are sold individually. I okay. um, split those up so that way they could be a good price point. The small is $12.95 and the larger one is $19.95. So this would be great with some greenery in it too. So with this. I'm gonna put this one, the on. small one, would kind of be fun to do like a little nest with maybe a bird in there. I think that would be fun. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. I just love that. We used to have those willow picking baskets, do you remember? And they were like uber spendy. I don't know if we have them. So I'm looking at this. These these would be great for like drying out, like like for future reference for our pantry. We could or like put herbs. Like herbs or maybe even like the seeds, like the pump the bigger seeds, like the pumpkin seeds or, oh, they need to or the green beans so that they could dry out good. I love that you're always finding homestead purposes that are also cute. Well, sometimes this would be easy to just grab and be like, all right, I got my dry seeds and I'm going to go start putting them in the oh, garden. you're going to actually use it. Yeah. To... Like dry them out in this in the fall, hang them from the ceiling in the pantry. Mine are just in little French, well, I mean, they're yeah. cute. I have antique French enamel canisters that are actually worth a pretty penny and that's where all my, I saved all my heirloom seeds in those. So did you say price? Do you know? I don't know. Yeah, nineteen ninety five and twelve ninety five for the little one. Well, Which, 95, honestly, if I thrifted these, that would be the same price. So I think these wall pockets are well, well priced. All right, show them this little trio. I decided not to sell these individually because, actually. Because you can't get them apart? No. <laughs> uh, maybe I did sell those individually. I said that, and then I was like, no, it's a trio. So you get all three wall pockets for twenty nine ninety five. They are in there tight. So, so these I actually think would be cute to just display sitting down. They don't necessarily have yeah, to Yeah, they do that. sit okay. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. 
They I mean, sit. They sit fine. They're nice flat bottoms. The tree all wall pockets. So if you see me typing, I'm not ignoring you. I am. Uh, I'm dropping links simultaneously. So we have three of these. They're twenty nine ninety five, and you get all three of them, which I think is a really. They're hand woven, so they're a little ununiform, which honestly I like it even better. They're perfect. So you could use them on the wall, or you could use them sitting down in a vignette, whatever. But yeah, flat back with the hook or flat bottoms, you can. On, they, I think that would work for mail. Like just dropping yeah, you your can mail in. Do, like organize your mail in there. Okay, let me find the big wall pocket. Well, oh, this one doesn't have a picture. Sorry guys, let me take a No picture, picture. here's the picture. Here, hold on, hold it cute. I was gonna get one from my friend who sold them to me, but I'm gonna put that one in there. That one's gonna sell. So this one has a wire frame. It's super sturdy and the wire in there is actually pretty pretty thick. It's almost like a rod iron, not quite that big. This is significantly larger than the others and has the hanging rope on the back. And this one is $29.95. So this is like the creme de la creme of wall pockets. And like you said, it has the metal frame. So it's it reminds me of sturdy. a fishing basket. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't know that I'd put fish hanging on the wall unless no. they were plastic, but... No, don't do it. Wall pocket, dropping the link. See if anybody has questions. Everybody's just saying hello. If you guys don't want to, like, shop the links individually, if you just go to jamieraybentage.com and click home decor, most of the stuff is going to populate um, in home decor. Because if you search new to old, then all the new stuff, only the restock won't be there. Most of the stuff is new, so like you guys, this window. Oh, the window, yeah, show me the window. So this is a starlight window with no glass. It's $26.95. You wanna show them up close? Mm -hmm. I will grab the link. You could be my Vanna White. I am. So these are stained dark. We actually think they're perfect for painting. Um, if honestly, it would be really easy to turn this into a window. You could just do a little frame around, inset some glass, and uh, and make this into an actual window if you wanted to, like for a shed or something. I just like hanging them on the wall with like a little wreath or for a little bit of architecture. They are made detail. with salvaged wood, so you're gonna get some imperfections in them. They're not all they're the all same, handmade. and they're handmade. So. Hey, Connie. But these from are Ohio. these are twenty six ninety five. Yep. All right. So. So just show them. These are the last three things oh. from all those things we were painting. For the thrift haul. I'm going to grab the thrift haul collection for you guys. Remember all the things we painted on the live video? We only have three that haven't sold. So I wanted to show those to you because I think they turned out pretty cute. Share collection, copy the link. So I have to talk to myself while I'm doing it. Thrift haul. So this is also going to have anything from the thrift haul that hasn't sold. But we have this candlestick. It's I did a really fun chippy paint job on it. We've got... Wasn't there a taller one that you did mm -hmm, too? The two set sold. So this, this was, is a little uh, bit different style. It's individual for this candlestick. I think it was eight ninety five. I really I love remember. the. It's very French country with the French millinery and then the white like two tone. I did kind of a textured paint finish on it, which is kind of fun, and then just clear wax. And that one is eight ninety five, and it might read gray, but it's a like lavender gray. Well, here it is next to the cement. I feel like yeah, that kind of shows. Let me show you. So the cement is definitely like a light gray, and then you can see the lavender purple in if there. If I can get my painted stuff <laughs> to sell slower, then I do want to do a display in lavender because I found a magazine photo of a French country home all done in lavender, and it was so pretty and like the We probably color. had 20 hey, pieces. Hey, Heidi, are you here to pick up your order? All right, I'll have Maria grab it for you, and I promise I won't, I won't kill you. We're live, but you're welcome to shop around if you want. I'll keep, no, you're, you're fine. We're, we're live during shop hours. It's our fault. All right, and then this little uh, urn dish. I'll, this one, I think, I don't have a topiary hand, but if you had like a topiary ball that you could put on there, I think that would work really well. Let me, I don't see one that I can just grab. These are all in pots, but this one is still available in the, uh, the thrift haul collection. You can peruse around. We and have, then this we is... We found two of these like a week or so ago, and then we found one of these separate, and Jamie painted this all up. We put an IOD mold on the front, and then she painted this all copper with the uh, pennies from heaven, DIY pennies from heaven. It turned out great. Um, you could use it for an ornament holder, but honestly, like something hanging, oh, where's one of those little baskets? I bet you it would hold this basket. Let's see. These fit in here so tightly together. 
All right. Oh my goodness, it does. It holds it. And then you could put some greenery up top here. These are probably gonna be a little large. Yep, they hang out the top. Let me see what my artichoke looks like. You. This is also gonna be a little large. Oh, wait, no, no, we got a whole situation I happening I leave you here. and this is what you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> hang this on the shelf, you know, put some fun things in there. That, that's not quite what I had in mind for that. No, I know. Um, I just think maybe this, this is too big. Oh, that's too big. A little too large. I don't I'm know. looking around. Oh, there's those little trees up there. Here, hold this. Okay, like I'll hold this. this. That was my friend Heidi. I had talked to her for a minute. Yeah. One of her daughters is getting married. So it's very exciting. And she came to pick up her IOD. Oh, that's, that's too small. Lovely. But you could do like a little paper in the You could do like a little riser. That's inside. actually perfect because I was thinking topiary because it's very French country with the copper. This is the, did you tell them we sold two unpainted, but nobody bought this one, so I got to have fun with it. So this one is, if you want this, if you're if you're like, ooh, I need to put that whole thing together. This is the mini topiary It's in the B. home decor collection. It's uh, $6.95 in the home decor collection. This is in the thrift haul collection because we thrifted this. Um, but, you know, there you go. Well, and this shows you guys what you can do with copper patina and the dark wax and then this is just an it was iod just galvanized metal before. yeah it was galvanized like that and then we did um the iod mold this is from the cameo mold one of my favorites and we happened to have a bunch of them left over so i just microwaved it and then i actually glued this on with crazy glue like super glue it worked really good it, we did get a slight crack in it but it just gave me a fun place to put my dark wax so this one's 19.95 in the thrift haul collection did you show my urn i did show them that this is again, we're using more of the French millinery, but that lavender color that's gonna be super popular this spring. Show them, we got a, we, we have we got good a deal. stock on these, but I don't know that they're gonna last very long. Oh, hold on, I wanted to these drop them in These are different the than the scoops we had on sale last time. Um, we still have, I think like five or six of those other scoops. Let me go grab one and show them, and then you can show them. So these ones are six ninety five. This says so, that we don't have any in stock. Um, we have, oh, a, we bunch. have a bunch. There's Where's like the one, one that you just two, showed me? Three, four, five. Was that C? Um, that was B, I think. Where Maybe C. Where did it go? I, I already put it back. Oh, let me add those in stock. Hold, so, hold on. Uh, these are B. We have how, how many Bs? We have one so B. That's a C. We have one B there. Okay, this, we're doing inventory while we're live. This is a C. Three Cs. That's a C. And then this looks like a C. This is a B. So we have four two, C's, two B's. Three C's, two B's. No. Yeah. So something either got written up wrong or shipped wrong. They're all really close. Dun, together. Da, da, da. I have saved it. Perfect. All right. All right so if show you them buy... that scoop. I'm gonna go grab the other one so they can see. Remember when we had these and they were nine ninety five? Do you remember? I was able to score 30 of them for even less than I paid the last time. And so they are, wait for it, $6.95. Look how cute they are. Like they're worth so much more than that. Like $6.95 is like half of what you would expect to pay wholesale. Are these the ones that are still on sale? Yeah, so these are the $16.95. These are actually a scoop, but this is a bowl, which I love. This has um, the open these, scoop. These ones are $6.95 and those ones are $16.95. It's just because these were a custom order that some but he didn't pick up at her warehouse and she loves me. So I was able to get 30 and they're $6 and 95 cents. They're in the sale collection. You guys, it would take me like an hour to carve that out. Right. You can't even and buy I don't the work, And I don't work for $6.95 an hour. I'll tell you that right now. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to grab the link to this. I'll grab, I'll just grab the sale collection link and then you guys can see what else is in sale. We still have a bunch of IOD that's 15% off in the so, sale collection. So we have a bunch of these. Grab them, they'll probably go quick at that price. And then we have six of these left. All right, so where And am I'll I? show you the difference between them. This is hard to run a live by yourself. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go put these okay. up. Well, I'm then, not by myself, I have you, but I Then I think we can go on walkabout because we did get a bunch of new dough bowls, new heart stuff is in that. Yeah, stock. we showed them all the things. Okay, if you guys have- heart uh, no, but we did restock the hard dough bowls. If you guys have been wanting our dough bowls, um, we have like numbered ones. We've been sold out of almost everything and we restocked every single dough bowl. 
So hallelujah, because honestly, those are some of our number one sellers are the dough bowls. Do you want to take them over there? And um, they also have those jars that just came in the, with the wood lids. We yeah, show we'll those. show them that. We didn't show them those. Those are new. I wanted to show them back here, though, this display oh, yeah. that we just finished that uh, and talk to them maybe a little bit about why we left the back of the door blue, because more than a few people it commented. It is like a controversial subject. So. We have a bunch of antique doors in our house, even in the addition that are legit old because I'm a hoarder and I saved them when we built them. And they all have different colors on the back. So you have like the front of the house painted and then the inside of the house painted, right? Yeah, and they so can't we see it from there. we left that. This is the perfect smoky blue color. I mean, and I didn't just leave it. I cleaned it up and I sealed it. People are like, you're lazy, you didn't paint it. I'm like, I promise you it would have been the same amount of work. I cleaned it up and I sealed it. So that way it's kind of fun. When you open up the cabinet, you've got a little, it's like a mullet. You've got business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> Anyways, not everybody loves it and I don't care. It's a fun piece that came together really cool and I don't think it'll last too long. No. Um, but if you want to see the video on how we put that together, that uh, was last week's. We're gonna do a series on this, so we'll probably, I don't know if we'll get to it this week because this week's crazy, but for sure we'll have another one next week where we pick something out of a magazine and recreate the look with stuff we have in the barn. Well, I was planning on doing the shelves and recreating a magazine look on the shelves in the office, oh. and I thought we could film that. It wouldn't take too long because people want to know for the craft kit shelves how to hang them. Yeah, we'll show So that. I thought that would be dual purpose. We can show people how to hang them, and, that. and then the other thing we did is if you watch the video, I saw how they staged it up and I mimicked it with a mannequin, some of the red and then the gold frames. So we tried to kind of mimic I did the throw one of those new wood bowls up there because I didn't have anywhere to put it. Uh, it's Kat looking a little out of place. she loves the blue and June Ring says, I love the mullet door. <laughs> and we are going to do the stairs, but probably not till the next stairs, week. We might just do a live stream one day on a Monday when we're closed. I've been, I've been searching magazines for the perfect stair finish. They have been finished. like this since we opened in September. <laughs> August. Uh, was it August that we actually opened? Yes. Yes. It's been a few minutes. It's fine. It's fine. We're busy. Nobody's, nobody's expecting perfection. All right, let's go cruise. You want to show me your lay parfait? I think you're really proud. My of lay that. parfait? I mean, I just put jars together. Zeph's obsessed with lay parfait jars. I love the jars. I use them the to can and put stuff in the fridge. I love these because they're, they're not single use plastics. You can microwave in them. Um, we um, use these for when we make freezer jam. Yeah, and also leftovers. <laughs> yeah, French jam pot, four ninety five. These are the best. And you can, they actually make, look up jam pot covers, Martha Stewart. And she will so, show you how to use parchment as a jam pot cover. That's what they do in France. I saw a video, it was on, the, it showed up on the Roku channel. So if you get that, Martha Stewart has a new series and I was fascinated. I'm a big fat Martha Stewart nerd. So. But got all the jars down here and also with the seltzer bottles, the English yeah, seltzer did, bottles. You did good at the display. But I was like, why are these all over the shop? Because we had some here and we had some over there, which they were okay. But Debbie um, likes to move stuff around and she was here. She'll, she'll be back. She'll move again. These are dobles that we inventoried but haven't marked yet. So they're all restocked on the website. We just got to get pricing on them for the shop. You want to show kind of pandy? Yeah, I'll, I'll show, show them the, the floor. Here. So all kinds of fun sizes there. I'm just going to go to jamierayvintage.com and search doughballs so they can get all the doughballs in one link. And then we got a few more of the heart doughballs, but we weren't able to get a ton because they're really popular. So limited stock on these. I'll show you the big size and then the little size. Um, so we, right now, we just have old antique French uh, postcards that we picked up in France. And then this is the doughball. These are $6.95 each if you want these, and the dough bowl itself is $34.95. Um, but this is, the, this is the larger size, and it's, it's fairly good size, but compared to the small size here, we have the minis. We used to have candles poured in these. So if you are a candle maker, it's really cute to pour. Do like three wicks and do a little candle in there. Yeah. Let's see how these ones are $14.95 for the minis, and they are tiny. And they're handmade out of like raw wood, I'm assuming. So they well, as opposed to dead wood. Well, not, not too <laughs> dead wood. All right, so this is the large and the mini together, so you can see the size difference. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect.
perfect for Valentine's Day, but also good year round. We actually sell heart shaped obols year round, and sometimes it gets to Valentine's Day and we legit Oops. cannot get any. So, all right, over here I wanted to show these. I'll find the link for them. Can you show them these wavy glass? Um, well, and these are all hand turned tops. They aren't. So someone had these and just threw a plastic ring on them, turned them, and they're not they're not tight fitting. But That's not what the, they're there to be cute. Yeah, they're there for like cotton balls or whatever in your bathroom. Um, but the glass, I don't know if you can see how wavy it is, and then it's got these little beads up here on the top. And then I think we bought these are sixteen ninety five. Which I feel like is a pretty good price, especially since they have this really cool lid on it. Then here's some more of those. This is one of the Atlas jars. I actually love the Atlas jars. I think they're some of the coolest. This is the giant, oh, they probably, I don't know if they can see the whole finial. The ball jars the are still ball. around. I don't know that Atlas is even still a company anymore. Is, I don't, I don't know. I have but to I like the Atlas jars, the look of them better myself personally. Really? Yeah. Because it's an easy seal instead of ball ideal. And then one of them is just plain, but also cute. Oh, and we got these new, these are restock, I think, right? Yeah, the scalloped bowls. I don't are remember restock. how the price is on these. I dropped the link to all the dough bowls here, not too far behind. So scalloped bowls on those, and then some of this stuff is just regular, like we've got home some decor. It's just home decor and some pigs. This is stuff we always have, unless if we run out. You guys want to get your very own cow creamer. This is this the is creamer from... that I was being teased about yesterday. The funny cause... thing is you didn't even get an up-close shot. Of, I know, like, I didn't even... shot. I was like, my arm was in the way. I was filming myself and didn't know that my arm was back in the way. And you can't even really see the creamer. I had Odilia come special with Cooper to come get this. Um, but these are $9.95. We did sell two of them yesterday. I actually put syrup in it instead of cream in the video. I actually think it's the price is up. like really a good price point. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're cute. So we only have four and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any more of these cow creamers because I can't even remember where I got them from originally. It's been a minute. It was cracking Eliza up when the syrup was coming out of the cow's mouth. Well, it's it kind of creamer, it's cream. It's it, like, yeah, it was caramel and it kind of looked like the cow was throwing up. <laughs> well, so that's not very appetizing. All right, so double or the, the scoops. Tons yes. of the hand carved wooden scoops. These are the these are the ones that are six ninety five, um, and we have thirty of them, and they range in size because they're handmade. Like just so you various know. Various shapes. We're not gonna sort them. You're gonna luck of a draw. But we restocked all of our doubles. I just dropped the link for that. If you've been waiting for a specific size and you're like, when are you getting your restocked? Now is the time. It's looking a lot fuller up here. Like this this front part of the store gets hit hard, and lots it of stuff gets sold. It was looking a little sold. bit sad, and now it's a very happy front part of the store. So enamel here. I don't know that we really have anything else new other than what we just showed you. I think that's about it. Yeah, I do think that that is it. We don't even have a lot of the thrift haul left over just because it got hit hard. So if you guys have questions, um, comment below. Let us know. We'll be happy to do that. We're going to be here for a hot minute uh, tagging everything. But uh, yeah, thanks We're for Not too us. hot a minute because we got to go work out and I got to go get like 40 bales of hay for Buttercup. JamieRayVintage.com is the website to go to. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and follow Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and shop tours. Shop tours. Shop tours. All right, guys. Thanks for supporting us. See you guys. Right. Have a good day. Bye.